Much before the likes of Virender Sehwag, Adam Gilchrist, Herschel Gibbs and others came into the fold, there was one attacking batsman who redefined ODI cricket with his batting style. Just the name of Sanat Jaisuriya can evoke fear in the 90s cricket fans. Bowlers trembled at the sight of him striding to the crease, knowing that they were about to face an onslaught like no other. With his explosive batting style and audacious stroke play, he turned the cricketing world upside down. Popularly known as the Master Blaster, Sanat Jaisuriya was truly a special player gifted with so many talents. So today, we are diving into the career of one of the most fearsome, and dominant batsman the cricketing world has ever witnessed. Jaisuriya once said, I wanted to intimidate and dominate bowlers. And boy he did. And that too, in an insane style to the point that many bowlers even refused to bowl against him. If you grew up in the 90s, you'd know that praying for Sanat Jaisuriya's early dismissal was almost a ritual. Born in the tranquil lands of Matara, Sri Lanka, Sanat Jaisuriya emerged from humble beginnings to ascend the lofty peaks of cricketing glory. It's hard to imagine that for the first half decade of his career, Sanat Jaisuriya was actually considered a bowler who could bat a bit. His school principal and cricket coach identified his talent and supported his growth as a young cricketer. A batter and all-rounder, Jaisuriya was also recognized as he was awarded the best batter and best all-rounder during his school days. The Master Blaster represented Sri Lanka in the inaugural ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup which was held in Australia in 1988 and was subsequently selected for a tour in Pakistan a few months later with the Sri Lanka B team, where he made two unbeaten double centuries. Shortly after, he was selected for the national team for the tour against Australia in 1989. However, in his early days in one-day cricket, he struggled to make an impact. His first half century came in his 40th ODI and after 55 matches, his batting average was a miserable 13.87, scoring just 6.52 runs. But the scenario changed really quickly as in his next 100 games, he scored 3,505 runs with an average of 37.28. This change was the result of one decision from then Sri Lankan captain Arjuna Ranatunga. And this decision not only changed Jaisuriya's life forever, but also changed the dynamics of ODI cricket. Ranatunga promoted Jaisuriya to open the innings, a move that's still considered one of the finest in cricket. Half a decade after he made his international debut, Jaisuriya, the cricketer, was reborn. And from then, no bowler on this planet was able to stop the master blaster. I haven't seen Don Bradman bat, but I have seen Sanat Jaisuriya, and I haven't seen a better batsman in my cricketing career. Jaisuriya's style is his own. Sanat had a simple yet deadly philosophy, offence is often the best defence. His hallmark was his explosive power, combining impeccable timing with brute force to send the ball crashing over the ropes with astonishing regularity. The tactic he used was to take advantage of the early fielding restrictions by smashing the opening bowlers to all parts of the cricket ground, particularly by lofting their deliveries over the mandatory infielders rather than the established tactic of building up momentum gradually, in turn making a mockery of the opposing captain's field placing. Hitting of that order has become common in the T20 era, but in 1996, they were virtually never heard of. Jaisuriya is known for both cuts and pulls along with his trademark shot, a lofted cut over point. But who could forget his flick shots? With lightning quick reflexes and impeccable timing, he effortlessly dispatched deliveries pitched onto his pads to the boundary ropes. His devastating performances have ensured that Sri Lanka has won almost 75% of the matches, that he scored over 50 runs in the limited overs cricket. During the 1990s, when other teams were aiming for scores between 40 and 50 in the first power play, Sri Lanka was usually going for 100 or above. The best example of this playing style was displayed during the 1996 Cricket World Cup. Along with Kaluvitarana, he posted scores of 117, 123 and 121 against India, Kenya and England in the first 15 overs respectively. And just to give a glimpse of his outrageous batting, in a match against India in 1997, India batted first and put on a total of 225 for 7. Jaisuriya single-handedly won the match for Sri Lanka, destroying the Indian bowlers, scoring 151 of 120 balls while the rest of the Sri Lankan team scored just 65 of 127 balls. 
just tells you how destructive a batsman he was. He was one of the few batsmen to have hit me for quite a few sixes. He was very dangerous. And once in a match against India, an Indian fan displayed this message. We want a mother to give birth to a Jaisuriya in India. This just shows how opposition fans appreciated him. Not just with the bat, Sanat Jaisuriya was equally destructive with the ball. In an era where spin bowlers used to rely on flight and spin to dismiss batters, Sanat Jaisuriya used to bowl faster deliveries and yorkers to much success. His bowling can be compared to the likes of Ravind Jadeja in modern times, who rely on pinpoint accuracy in line and length, variation in pace, and ability to bowl yorkers in the death overs even as spinners. He used to get through his overs really quickly, giving away nothing to the batsman. His best performance came at the 1996 Cricket World Cup, where he etched his name in Sri Lankan cricketing folklore. Before the tournament, few had given Sri Lanka a chance of lifting the trophy. But at the end of it, they were deserving winners, going through the entire tournament without a defeat. And one of the biggest reasons for this success was none other than Jayasuriya. His explosive batting took everyone by surprise, as oppositions were unable to cope up with his awe-inspiring batting. He was named the player of the tournament, and in just six matches that he played, he smashed 221 runs at an average of 36.83. He further picked up 7 wickets in the tournament, including a match-winning spell in the semi-final against India, where he gave away just 12 runs in 7 overs and picked up 3 wickets, including that of dangerous Sachin Tendulkar. It is always a massive compliment to someone to say that they changed the game, and his storming innings in the 1996 World Cup changed everyone's thinking about how to start one-day innings. He did not spare anyone, be it Wasim Akram, Glenn Megra or Dale Stain. And when I say Jaisuriya has finished the career of many bowlers, I mean it. If you don't believe me, then just look at this incident from the 1996 Cricket World Cup. In a match in the group stage, India had posted a total of 271 in the first innings, which included Sachin Tendulkar's 137. It was a big total in 1996 and everyone were convinced that India have the upper hand. However, it took Jaisuriya and Kalubitharana just 3 overs to shock the Indian fans. Manoj Prabhakar, the local boy, got hammered for 33 runs in two overs, which forced him to come as a spinner in his next spell. And when Prabhakar came for his second spell with his off breaks, he was booed loudly by the local crowd. He finished with four overs, giving away 47 runs with no wickets. And after this match, he was never selected for the Indian side ever, thus finishing his career. Jai Surya's ODI career was full of records. He held the record for the fastest 50 and fastest 100 before it was broken by Shahid Afridi. He was one batter who hit sixes at will and also held the record for the maximum number of sixes in ODI cricket till 2008. He is also the only player to hit back-to-back -back scores of 150 plus in ODIs when he scored 152 and 157 against England and the Netherlands. The numbers speak about how great the man was in ODI cricket. He played 445 ODIs which is among the top 3 most matches played, scoring 13,430 runs at an average of 32.36 and he has 28 ODI hundreds. He played 110 test matches for Sri Lanka and in those, he scored 6,973 runs at an average of 40.07 with 14 hundreds as well as 3 double hundreds and 1 triple hundred. This means he has scored more than 20,000 international runs for Sri Lanka. Additionally, in spite of being a world-class opening batter, he's the 11th highest wicket taker in the format. Most wickets as an left-arm spinner with 323 wickets. Even spin wizard Shane Vaughan has 293 wickets in ODIs. Sanat Jaisuriya is the only player in the history of ODI cricket to pick up 300 wickets and score more than 10,000 runs. He has second most runs in the finals of an ICC tournament and second most man of the match in ODI cricket, both behind Sachin Tendulkar. He's also the only all-rounder to score 1,000 runs and capture more than 25 wickets in Cricket World Cup history. Sanat Jaisuriya has scored 19,298 runs as an opener in international cricket, the most by any opener in cricket history. These are just a glimpse of his records. The number of records he has broken are way too many. Before saying goodbye to Test cricket, Jaisuriya showed what he's known for. In a match against England in 2007, in the same destructive manner he played cricket, he hit six consecutive fours in an over, and that too against James Anderson. And I'm pretty much sure that even today, 
If Jay Surya is asked to come out to bat, like early days, he would smash all the balls to the boundary. Sanat Jay Surya was a true champion during his playing days. His aggressive batting style, coupled with deceptive left-arm spin, redefined the role of the all-rounder. Jay Surya's fearless approach to the game and his ability to dominate the best bowlers of his time cemented his status as one of the cricket's greatest icons. His legacy continues to inspire generations of cricketers worldwide, reminding us of the enduring power of talent, determination and innovation in the game. Sri Lankan cricket has indeed moved forward, but there will never be a player like Sanat Jasuriya. So guys, that's it for today's video. And if you wish to look at another Sri Lankan legend, why not click on the video being displayed on your screen to look at how good was Muthaiya Mullitaran. Like always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, keep watching this beautiful game. See you soon.